My name is Josue. Um, I'm 24 years old and I'm a single parent and um, what brought me here is uh, to this school, Youth Built. It's actually uh, to get my high school diploma. Since, uh, since I was at elementary, I, I was getting in trouble with the teachers. I always try to do, you know, the opposite of, you know, I was always against the teachers. Middle school, same thing. I used to go to jail for, you know, dumb things, you know, getting in trouble, uh, graffiti, all those stuff, you know, doing drugs and stuff like that. At the age of 15, I had my daughter, and that's when, you know, my life just changed it. I never, never expected to, to be so hard, you know, especially for a teenager like me, that I was used to uh, doing whatever I wanted to do. When I, when I had my daughter, it just, it hit me. It was a big shock, a big impact that just, you know, it literally just changed my life. I didn't know how to start it, so I had to just literally just drop out of school, you know. Yeah, I had to work. It was, it was a really tough uh, time for me. You know, I really want to fix my life, and uh, I know I committed a lot of things in the past that they were not right, but, you know, you know, that's what we're here for, to get better. Uh, Youth Rebuild is actually, it's helping me lead my, my way to a better, you know. Uh, it's giving me courage, it's giving me a lot of uh, confidence. Just realizing how, how important it's, it's uh, having a degree, a high school diploma in life for your future. The school that I went to, uh, it's called the Sally Skill Center. Uh, it's a really good school. I can't really say nothing bad about it. But as young adults, you know, that they're in there, they don't have the same um, help as I'm getting here. And teachers are not really focusing on you, or what, you know, especially since you, you grew up with a different mentality, just like a street mentality. Just like getting in trouble, you know, not really caring about um, your future. And since you don't see that little push from teachers to help you, you just, you know, you just, you basically that's what we need. And, and in this program that I'm in, it's really helping me. It's giving me that push that I really need in my life. It's, uh, I, you know, uh, it, 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 to be honest with you, uh, I haven't, I never had this program before. Never in my life, never, uh, never even imagined there was a program like this before, you know. But I'm really glad I'm here, and you know, I, I'm I'm here to just do my best, and I don't want to leave this program. I really want to get more and just be like a vacuum, you know, just absorb everything you could get. Okay, so one thing that it really impact me that it just. It hit me like really hard and deep inside of me is uh is how it's the same classmates the same people that i'm in they're going through the same stuff that i'm going through i never thought oh you know uh i'm a single parent uh i'm struggling with money i'm struggling with uh with a uh, babysitter i'm struggling with uh i don't know just um, having a job, you know, and there's there's also a lot of people out there that they they have the same problem like me. I just feel like um, leadership is uh it, it has to do with a lot of your courage, you know, whatever you have in you. If you really want to succeed, you have to push, you know, you gotta push yourself to keep going. I honestly want to be an example for my for my uh, community. You know, there's a lot of uh, people out there. You walk, you know, they judge you just the way, just by the way you look. Uh, they always see my tattoos. They're always judging, just by the way they look at me. And I mean, I don't think it's fair for people to judge you. But you know, you can't really satisfy the whole world. You know, you gotta focus on yourself and what you want to do for your life. And if you want to succeed. You gotta be an example to others. I, I want people to see me as a, an example, you know? 
I want people to see me as, you know, man, you know, like he did this, he did that, but he made it. He did, he actually made it. You know, that's a good example. You know, I should, I should be like him. You know, man, he's all tatted down, but you know, he, he had the guts to get his tattoo removed, even though they're like 10, 20 times worse of, you know, getting them off. You know, that's leadership for me, just, uh, just guide people in the right path. Like I said before, Youth Build, it's a, it's a great program. You know, I'm really glad I'm here. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm really glad there's, there's actually people out there that care for you, that really want something for you and your future, you know? No, they all treat us the same, like a family. And, and that's, that's something, you know, you don't really see out there in, in schools. Even if you don't feel smart or if you don't feel like, like you have the courage, here they help you get the courage. They help you get the confidence you need in life. I want to be a barber. I, I worked at a barber shop for four years without a license. It's a big, big uh, responsibility. You know, just working at a barbershop without a license. If you get caught, you know, you know that's a big thing. You get you get a big ticket for that. And one of my goals in life is uh, I want to have my barber license. In order to get my barber license, I need to have my GED or high school, so I could apply for that. <clears throat> and um, that that's actually my goal for now. But in this uh, now that I'm in this class and in this school program, it's just opening my eyes even more. I wanna, I wanna expand my goals now. I, want, I don't just wanna be a barber. I wanna have more barber shops. You know, I, I see my father struggling, you know, he's a construction worker. He does general construction. He doesn't have a lot of sense. He's an immigrant, you know, and it's really tough, you know. I see him like, struggling, you know. <clears throat> yeah. You know, <clears throat> I see him struggling, you know, with bills, you know, with um, just things in life. But he's always there for us, you know. Ever since we were small, he always, you know, support us. I, I, can't, I can't even explain, you know. It's just so many things I want to do, and, and I'm really grateful to be here.